Hey y'all, uh, I'm wearing the exact same clothes for the last like couple of videos because it's all the same day, but for three different things on the camper. So uh, today we are going to look over the camper's roof and make sure there's no leaks coming. Um, it's only a year old, so it should be okay, but we bought it from Camping World, so... And it's been sitting uncovered, yeah. so that's also... Yeah. I mean, there's already this happening. And uh, I'm going to have to pull the seal and put a new one on. It's split from, you know, wind and everything. And I see a couple screws that are loose that I just need to tighten down. No biggie. Camping World could probably do that, but I have a bit. Why not let me do it and not waste time of not having it for camping world to have it for a month and a half and, or longer and maybe not even remember what they had it for and not fix it so uh take ladder safety training class before you start this uh if you are old and by old i mean older than me um if you are disabled if you are not sure of your footing do not do this one uh there's no nobody to catch you there's no net nothing but a ladder and the top of your camper so it's not a safe thing to do especially not in flip-flops you know don't try this at home um i'm not a professional so you really shouldn't do what i do i'm just giving you a heads up so you know what to look for if you do do this yourself um, so I will climb up the ladder and show you what it does look like up there and what it could look like. I don't know if there's any cracks. I haven't actually been up there or not. So we'll see together whether or not I need to reseal the top or if it's good for another year, I just need to clean it. So. And just a heads up while he's climbing up, um, some people are a little shocked i guess when they get up there and see uh the seal job i guess that has been done but it's not supposed to look beautiful as far as i know so it might look a little diy this was not us this came brand new from camping world everything that you see but it is supposed to look like that what's up yeah, everything that they put on a roof has to be sealed and heavily sealed and everything feels good still here. Um, what I'm looking for, I mean, obviously this is just a cover. It's not, it doesn't have to be completely sealed under this. Um, this is the vent for the air conditioner. Um, these are still on firmly. There is not gaps under them. I mean that. Kind of soft. It, I mean it's soft. Yeah, it's supposed to be soft. That could probably be. Um, I just kind of push. You know, it. I could I can pull it up and redo it a little bit there. Um, the edges are still kind of in there. Um, there is a sealant that you can buy to just touch up all the edges. You want to make sure that there's you know water isn't going to get under here and um go into the seals because basically this part here and this part here they just kind of overlap each other and if water gets underneath it then it goes into your camper so you're making sure that um yeah, like here here needs to be redone i will come up here with some stuff in a minute and we'll i'll show you on the video um what i'm what I'm sealing and how I'm sealing it here is that's a bad spot there. Um, there is not really a whole lot of bad stuff. This is our supposedly our antenna, but we I use uh, I use the an Android TV with the with the hot spot so that we can have something to watch, but. Cause I don't really care everywhere we go doesn't have local TV channels to pick up anyway so it's not like it works 
Um, we don't even watch local TV from our house. We don't pay for cable. We just watch internet TV, so that's us. Um, this all feels good and sealed. That's a vent. This is a vent for, like, uh, your gases from your sewer system. This is one of the tanks. That's the other tank. That's the black tank. This is the gray tank. Um, you okay down there? Oh, I guess Jamie went inside. I heard the door shut. I thought maybe she fell off a ladder. So, <laughs> so all of this feels good, feels tight still. No leaks anywhere on it. Um, I think we're good there. Um, all around feels good still. That can probably come, huh? I don't know why she wants me to show an open vent. Well, just underneath <laughs> the cover, just making sure there's no other hidden anti-seal. I mean, anti yeah, 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 open up the shower one too then. Okay. That's a good point. I guess we can check the seal here. I didn't really think about that. This is a good seal. I mean, it's not like the best seal ever but it, it works and it's not messed up. Check this one too. It also is good. I'm sorry if I'm doing shoddy uh, camera work. I'm currently hanging off of a roof, so. <laughs> uh, everything here looks good. So, everything, there's really only a couple spots that I'm concerned about at all, and they're probably not that bad, but I'm gonna seal them up, so give me just a minute. I'll push pause on making the video. I'll get the stuff out and we'll show you what it looks like putting it on or, you know, gobbing it up. Hang on just a second. Ready? Okay, so this comes from Walmart. I don't remember the price, but it's cheap. Um, you can get it at Camping World. You can get it lots of different places. Walmart's cheap enough. It's fine. Self-leveling, sealant, um, RV roof somewhere on there it doesn't have to be this stuff you can get on amazon whatever you got whatever you can find that says rv roof sealant will work um if you've never used a caulk gun before i'll show you that too this caulk gun is from lowe's it has a tip cutter stick your tip in there well you know can't pull the trigger because this thing's up but cut the tip off falls out tips out open with this one I mean a lot of times I like to do a different thing but this isn't for looking pretty it already doesn't look pretty up here so that's done and I almost forgot this thing shove it down in there so that it punctures and actually gets some out which you'll see that it actually is on there to prove that it's getting out so Pull the trigger and it will squirt out the end. Um, I'm going to do this one handed so that Jamie doesn't have to hold the camera. And I'm sorry about the shoddy camera work. <laughs> but like I said, I'm doing this one handed. Don't die. I'm not dying. So I'm just going to squeeze the trigger until enough squirts out of the end. You can see it's starting to come out of the tube. And there we go. And get it everywhere in there and just fill that gap that's there and like I said this may not even be a problem that I should have worried about but I mean I'm up here and it could be a problem in the future so I mean we haven't seen any water in the camper yet I just don't want it to happen so I will uh, a lot of gummy stuff in there <laughs> a lot of strings happening and I'm gonna hit this side too where she showed that it was kind of gummy or whatever and I'll fill that up jam it in there really good That's probably why it fell off the other side because it was kind of poorly done but I think that's all you need right there and I think we are good for now, for this season. Um, 
I'm gonna check it again in six months and you know it's probably gonna be fine but at the same time we are always outside and we're never covered um, there's no reason for me to believe that ours will be forever sealed because it absolutely will come unsealed with the sun glaring on it like it is me and all the weather and wind and I mean, there's not a whole lot that protects it around us, except for me, so that's it. All right, uh, be careful getting up on your ladder, be careful getting back down off of your ladder, and don't let this stuff just drip everywhere, because it's going to be, be messy, so good luck, bye.